guys, welcome back, Anglos Vol here, and today we're back for some more Project Hospital. The last episode, we put in ourselves our intensive care unit over here. We did finish off a few little bits downstairs as well. We added in some break rooms for the people. We added in our foundations. We just generally got ourselves ready for hospitalization, I want to say. I say ready. We're never ready. We're never ready. But I've let it run on for a few days. We're not making tons of money. We're making 6,000, 16, 6, and 22 was the last episode we where we finished off. So we're not making tons of money every day. So that's um, slightly annoying. I was hoping to bolster my um, finances a fair bit there, but that is not the case. So what we're going to do, we are going to add in hospitalization. And what we're going to do, obviously, we're, uh, this area here is earmarked for um, operating rooms because if stuff goes wrong or etc cetera, etc cetera, we were or if they're in A&E and it's an emergency they need to be able to go up to the operating rooms pretty quick or if they're in ITU they need to go in pretty quick so yeah I want the operating rooms right here um, so that's that's the main thing so this is going to be operating rooms obviously we can't do any um, wards over here or hospitalization over here we're gonna have to go up another floor I know I know you're gonna say there's a big old space here but this is earmarked this is earmarked I haven't told you yet what it is gonna be but it's earmarked this is all gonna be emergency still we're gonna make a big old emergency department this we're gonna put the mortuary and maybe like um uh, a gift shop and such like here so so yeah this area earmarked this is all earmarked so we move up to this floor so we've got surgery here so this is then but I don't know what to do here I was thinking at one point maybe oncology because yeah this is all going to be ITU we could maybe do uh, I was going to say infectious diseases here but maybe traumatology here maybe if we've got room I'm not sure whether we'll have room whether well, that's to see to see so yeah, the only logical thing for us to do is to then move up a floor again. So um, yes, what we're going to do, we're going to finish off, um, let's get the walls down. We're going to finish off putting in my banks of um, elevators, lifts, however you want to call it. Sorry, my microphone's falling in front of me here. Let me just readjust. There we go. It was slipping down and disappearing. Um, right, where are we? Where is, oh good God, where, ah, it's here, lifts, elevators. Right, so how far do we have? We've got four there. Um, rotate. Uh, there we go. Right, okay. So if we go there, there's one, two, three, and four spaces. I mean, that's plenty full spaces, right? In between? Yeah, there like that. Right, so then we have to line them up with there, which would be there, right? Yeah, that's it. Let's get our banks of uh, lifts in because, yeah, we, 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 we need them. We need them to be um, ready and ready to use. So, yeah, I want loads of options there. And um, we do need to just build the wall ever so slightly around here. So if we go for the old grab you, um, yeah, we'll bring you down like that. And there, there we go. Nice. Remove that there wall. Did I not? Oh, I didn't even go there, did I? What a bleeding idiot. There. Oh, we've got no foundations. That's why I didn't do it. There we go. Plonk. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> oh, bleeding foundations. Bane of my life. Bane of my life. Um, Let's grab the flooring. Yoink. And then let's floor the elevators as well, because that would just be rude not to have colouring. Oh, you! I totally missed you. I apologise. Yeah, I've got them. That's fine. Right, walls over here. Let's get you looking better. Oh no, you'd, you'll be the right colour, won't you? Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. We can do that a little bit, though. Bonk. Right, we've got lifts up. Uh, let's just sort out the corridor. Uh, emergency. No, it's generalised stuff and things, isn't it? Admin department is what I was trying to say. There we go, and yep, yeah, clean inside the lifts. I don't know whether they do clean inside the lifts. I'm unsure on that one. But yeah, so that's that done. Right, we've got this. So if we page up, we need to add foundations in here. Let's get the old foundations added. There we go. What we'll do, we'll come round, we'll put the flooring in. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to move those drinks machines and such like, but that's fine. That we can do. But yeah, I want that to be yeah, nice and open. So yeah, you. We can. How about we plonk you there, there, and you there? Excellent. Remove these walls again. You can see where the money's going to disappear, can't you? It's uh. <laughs> Um, who is this? Who is looking after this? Is this ear, nose and throat by any chance? No, that's not ear, nose and throat. That's ear, nose and throat. No, who is looking after this area? Do we not even have a... Mm. We don't even have an area. Well, damn. Okay. Well, we'll, um, we'll get you coloured in then. What, 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 what? Oh, dear, dear. I overdid it. Overcooked it. Yeah, let's get you in like that. Up here like so. Down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, admin are going to be busy. But, um, yeah, again, what else have they got to do? Oh, and in here. Here we go. At least then that area is being cleaned now by a specific set of people. That's good. Right. Okay, so we want to head up. Okay, so does this mean... We've got foundations? Unclear. Um, how do we do this again? Uh, Add new floor. Copy floor tiles from current floor. Copy walls. Don't copy the walls. Add floor tiles? I mean, yeah. Oh, wow. That was silly. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. At least it's... um. Yeah, it didn't cost us anything. That's, the, that's why you do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, you, you do that so you don't have to add the um, floor tiles and they don't cost you. Excellent. Right, so that's good. Um, so yeah, we could... Yeah, I'm thinking let's go for the whole corridor up this way and corridor around. Then we've got the whole corridor around and what we'll do, we'll also do that here. There we go. We'll get the whole corridor going round um, as required wired um yeah so if we go yoink yoink it's a big outlay i know it's a big outlay but it's it's gonna be it's gonna be worth it 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 will be worth it she says <laughs> uh, yeah there we go get that going so then they can then yes yeah, scoot around let's get the corridor set up so it goes all the way around there like that so it just goes to one corridor. No. Oh, no. I foolishly did that, didn't I? Oh, man. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just... It just because I don't want them... It, it, it's un, this is unnecessary, but this is, just helps my brain in the fact of... I know that this whole area is one area. It just... It just makes it nicer on my mind, okay? It did it, it, fiddly. Fiddly, I know, but worth it. Oh, we need to add... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to sort the foundations out over here, don't we? Foundations. But there. And then walls. Is it just walls? Yeah, just walls. Um, Joink, joink. Well, floor as well. Let's just... Dip, 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 dip. There, thank you. Let's add that little bit of floor. Are these all white? No. Ha ha. There you go. Excellent, excellent. Get the wall sorted. Donk there and all the way along like that. Then we've got all those lifts set up. Yes. This is good. Ah, oh, the area. The area. Right. Janitors, you can clean there. Please and thank you. Right. So that's the second floor sorted. The first floor sorted. Or third. Oh, don't. Right. In here, what we'll do, we'll do... No. No. No, there we go. <laughs> Good grief. Clicking happy here. Right. Get that done. Then that done. Then you can come all the way to here. There we go. All the way round. Do we, uh, we need to build a foundation there because there was no foundation put in, was there? Of course not. Of course not. Right, we'll plonk bit of tile there excellent and what was i doing oh yeah i was a bit here corridor excellent corridor nice there and then what we're gonna do we're gonna bring it down to there 
And then we'll have a corridor all the way around like that. So yeah, we're going to have a main corridor all the way around. Then we can have our departments off to the side. That's that's the plan. That is the plan. That is the sort of loose plan I've figured out. Do we not have any... Yeah, we don't have any walls, do we? Huh? Uh, uh, yeah, you can be that wall if we go up. Right, okay. Let's bring a wall all the way around here. All the way to there. Good grief, our money. We might have to take a loan. We may just have to take a loan for um for the first time. But it's fine. It's totally fine. Um, Do we have... No, they are not a single colour, are they? Right, okay. Let's grab you. Yeah, draw you over there. We want some lines there. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. Okay. So, yeah, let's draw these in here excellent we might as well go for the whole hog yoink all the way around to there oh good god this is expensive all the way along here all the way along here yeah, what have i done nope there there we go how much we spent oh good grief okay um and then walls here walls everywhere walls for everyone right that's all that sort of stuff. I don't want to do this area because this is going to be the, 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 the ward, isn't it? So, yeah, where are we? Um, let's get ourselves that. Um, how's about we do a... Yeah, we'll do a ward across there like that. And a ward across here like this. Yes. Yes, that works. And then, yeah, we've got this one to do. If we scoot round. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Well, that doesn't want to be there, does it? Uh, but we'll put it there. We'll sort the rest out later. It's fine. It's totally fine. Again, you know my favourite word. It will be totally fine. <laughs> right. That's all those walls sorted. We've got this wall. Okay, we don't have that wall sorted. You know what? What we'll do, we'll just do a... Uh, we've just got a plain wall, haven't we, for the moment? So, yeah, just plonk a plain wall in there. Okay. So, we're enclosed... Uh, no, I've missed a little bit of wall in the fact of we want that here to be a corridor, don't we? Yes, there we go. Uh, no, wrong way. Over here. Excellent. Corridor. Nice. So yeah, it's because the floor was a different colour, it confused me. Uh, no, give me that colour. There we go. Excellent. Right, so corridor. So yeah, what we'll then do, we'll put some doors in. Um, you know what? We're just going to go with those those doors like that. There we go. Excellent. Nice. Um, what we could do, actually, let's plonk ourselves down here. Walls, because, yep, that's going to annoy me. Let's grab... Nope. <laughs> grab you like that. And then down, and we'll grab you like that. There we go. That is much better. That looks nicer. Straight away. Oh, uh, we've got this bit here, haven't we? Chip, 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 chip. Ah, uh, good grief. Again, the fiddly bits I'm doing. I should have done last time. But I didn't really have a plan last time. That's that. That's what I'm going to stick with, right? <laughs> yes, that's what I'm going to stick with. So, first of all, what we're going to do, we are going to build ourselves. Oh, hang about, hang about. No, we have got foundations over here. That's absolutely fine. Yes, yeah, so we've got foundations. So what we could do is build foundations. Do we need to here? And so maybe... Oh, hang about, hang about. Why do they not... Oh. Uh... Do we not have foundations? We don't have foundations over here. Okay. Let's just build ourselves... Yeah, no, I don't need to do that top. I need to do here because that's for... Oh, that was 15 grand. This is for operating rooms, isn't it? I put that door in for a cleaning closet. But yeah, this is going to be the operating theatre. So yeah, yeah, we need foundations there and yeah. Good grief. Okay, right. First up, so what we're going to do, we are going to go with a cardiology inpatients. I like starting with cardiology because they do make us a fair bit of money. I'm not going to lie, they, they, they're not bad. So yeah, let's head on over to cardiology, see what we've got to get. So we've got to get a diagnostic unit, regular ward HTU, on-call room, lounge, sonography, cardiology, nursing station, nursing station, nurses station, and an operating room. Okay. Hmm. 
how do we organize this i'm thinking so i quite liked how i did it on um uh the other playthrough why have i got doors there i don't actually need doors there sorry i was just looking at that because that's the main corridor isn't it so yeah we don't want doors there we just want to remove them there we go yeah we just want that to be open it's a it's a circular kind of thing four isn't it yeah yeah that is four yeah we just want that to be our kind of main corridor that is right isn't it yeah four it just looked really small the perspective perspective anyways back to cardiology so yeah i quite liked how we had it in the last playthrough where i did bays of beds i think that worked really nicely so we have all the bays of beds here and then we have all the other bits up this side with the nurses station where they can just pop into the rooms and do their thing yeah i quite liked that so um bearing it the bear bearing that in mind how deep were the wards so each bed was three because you've got to have room one side the bed and then the bedside cabinet so that's three wide so i'm wondering so that needs to be nine deep okay let's have a let's have a quick measure so nine deep nine deep so that takes us to there which how wide are we 17 nine minus seven no nope. 17 minus nine jesus christ so that leaves us eight so we can do a six room and a two corridor that's going to be pretty tight how, how what are the prefabs what are the prefabs what do they give us um uncle rooms by six by six by six nurses station by six regular ward by six okay so they fit them in the other way so maybe we could do that bearing in mind we'd need to go seven wouldn't we why have they gone six they've only got no we do only need to go six wide okay so six wide by nine this way and then we could fit three beds in three beds in and we could put all the stuff and things yes okay right that's how i'm gonna do it so let's pretend that the pretend no let's set up the nurses station up here so again based on the hospital i work what they do is they've got the nurses station and then they've got all the kind of um really important beds near them where the patients can't be left unsupervised let's say um, so you want them close to the nurses station so they can just pop in and out and do that because obviously they need regular monitoring. So that will be our HDU, high dependency units, higher level of medical care for hospitalised patients. So that needs to be close to the nurses station. So if I'm doing the nurses station, say here, as you enter the ward, you talk to the nurses station, you go, where am I going? You've got all of the HDU here and the regular stuff here. So that's going to be the plan. So let's go nurses, oh, nurses station uh oh god no okay let's start with the wards let's start with the wards because that will help me visualize so nine by six plus a little scoot so how about we do that six wide and then another nine on top of that so that takes us to 24 that's rather large but let's let's try this let's try this um 24 yeah, that's way too much that is way too much okay so uh let's remove that okay hdu so we need a nine by nine by six is what we need for a thing so three wide nine by six and that gives us three in the middle let's go for regular wards nine by six Regular ward, we leave three in the middle. Uh, one, two, three. Nine by six. Yeah, we're, we're encroaching on another department here, which eh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, again, this is it's a trial thing because we're going to fit one, two, three beds. One, two, three. One, two, three. And again, we've got room for then all the diagnostic stuff and then they can have maybe a sofa and other bits. It just makes it a bit nicer ward is what i'm thinking or we could do two in between again bear with bear with right let's go for diagnostic units which needs to be four by four so let's do a that's the door in that's the door in um fool um so we need four for the door so a six by four diagnostic unit cardiography unit six by four 
Pornography unit six by four. Okay, so that does leave us a lot of room. We need some toilets as well. Okay, um, where are we? Toilets? How big have we been doing the toilets? Uh, where are the toilets? That's a uh, four by six as well. Okay, we've been doing everything four by six. So we're toilets four by six. Cleaning closet. Mm hmm. Four by six. Okay. Okay, so that leaves us the corridor in. This is a big area right here. So I'm wondering. I'm wondering. Let's plonk, 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 plonk. Get rid of that. <laughs> um, what we'll do, we'll do the four by six here. There we go. Four by six. Yep. And the other four by six. What does that leave us with? A three. That's slightly um unfortunate, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, what we could do, we could put the cleaning closet there. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so that kind of sets up nicely because we need a waiting room in front of these rooms. Mm-hmm. Yes, we do, because the clinic rooms send them up to here to be tested on the ward. And again, if you're coming in here, you're not getting too much into the ward. Or where well, you are, actually, aren't you? Hmm. Maybe we need to keep the ward separate. Oh, oh, wow. I apologise, you're really having to put up with my thinking process here. But um, it's all about measurements. So 21. How wide is this? 21. Okay, okay. Change of plan. There we go. Get rid of everything. HDU. So we'll do it. Uh, 9 by 6. Oops. HDU. 9 by 6. Excellent. Regular ward. A nine by six there, and then a nine by six there. Then we've got the nurses station. What we can do is we can do the hmm, we can do the on call room here because we're going to have the door here, aren't we? The on call room needs to be four by three. But you know what? Let's do a four by eight like that. And then a nurses station can be a. 8x8. Eight eight. Yeah, because then they've got the desk here. They can talk to them. Loads of room here, so we can put some... I don't know. You know what? You know what? Get rid. Get rid like that. Regular wards. Something like this. 6x9. And 6x9. That was right, wasn't it? That was right. 6x9, yeah. We've got our HDUs at the end here. Regular wards. Patients come in here to see the... um see the, uh, the, the diagnostic unit cardiography unit and all that they come up this way they don't have to come anywhere near this this is the self-contained ward yes i like it i like it a lot so yeah we put a lounge here so then the family members come in see their family straight opposite there perfect we get there in the end people we do get there mm. one two three four so a four by six there. It's, it's yeah, that's a bit small, isn't it? That's a bit small. But let's just do a five by seven by six. Yeah, so that gives it a bit more corridor. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Cardiography four by six and a diagnostic thing. No, we need the diagnostic thing at the front, don't we? There we go. Diagnostic four by six. Um, sonography four by six. Okay, I'm liking this. We've just got a lot of room here, which is somewhat annoying. Hmm. How's about we can we no, because we need the doors here to get in, don't we? To HDU. So how about we make that all HDU like that? Oh. Yep, that I could see that coming. HDU and regular wards like so. There we go. Then they're all together. Oh yeah, I remember. I did have to make it one wider, didn't I? Uh, yes, I had to make it one wider to fit some stuff outside. This can have the door coming in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Right. Um, let's just... Uh, where have we got the corridor? Corridor. Actually, I'm going to take that like that. I'll add that in later. If I forget, uh, please comment down below because I will probably forget. Yeek. We know what I'm like, right? 
Right, so we've got corridor. Oh, no, okay. Um, we need waiting rooms out the front here. So how about we do a waiting room like that. Corridor. And then we've taken up half the thing because this is a little bit smaller here. So yeah, then we can fit a whole other department here. Yes, that is exactly what I was after. Exactly what I was after. Perfect. Um, so yeah, then we need a restroom. It's going to be relatively big. Four by seven. Okay. Cleaning closet. Well, how about we just do a little cleaning closet. A, three, a four by three like that. And then they can have a... Where is it? Uh, where's the common room? There we go. Common room can be... Uh, be damn! Damn you! Damn you! Okay. Sorry, cleaning closet. You will be smaller. Actually, what we could do, we could do it like that. And then bring in the cleaning closet that way. So yeah, they get a little corridor in here. And yeah, they've got a little tea room. Oh, yes. I like that. I like... I, I think I quite like that setup. What have I done here with the corridor? That's silly. That's absolutely silly. Regular ward, please and thank you. Yeah, ah, that was ridiculous. Right. Okay. So, oh God, I've got to do all this now. And yeah, then we could put doors here to go through to the other department as like your emergency safety evacuation. So if you've got a fire, for example, you can't just have this one door where they come out. No, you need to have another one. So like in our hospital, we've got, um, what is it? Say we've got three wards along the side here. Their emergency thing is to say there's a fire breakout up this corner. They'll go down to this ward. And then if the fire then starts spreading, they'll then move to this ward. And then they'll move to this ward, this ward. And then actually finally go down because they're like, oh, actually, it's becoming overwhelming. Um, but yeah, you, and then if it say starts here, then these guys will move to that ward. These guys will evacuate maybe either to another ward over here or downstairs or whatever. But yeah, you kind of have a, you've got to have that motion of moving around so that you've got many escape options. We do not want people burning to death in a hospital. No, <laughs> big old no, no. That's not a good one, is it? You come to hospital. Yeah, it's fine. Be cremated. <laughs> yeah, not a good one, right? No, we don't want windows in the toilet. Um, ward we'll figure out later. So what's... Oh, that's a different ward, isn't it? Okay, this is HDU. So we're going to have uh, beds here. Yeah, we need to figure... Yeah, we need to figure the windows out. We need to give them plenty of light. I was going to do all the windows, but that's not happening, is it? Um, right, so do we... I think... I think, you know what? We're just going to sit with just the same walls again. Because I... I quite like the same colour walls. It's um nice and easy. You know what? What we could do? What we could actually do is make the encore room just one bigger. Sorry, nurses, you lose a little bit of space, but we've got to have doctors. We've got to have the doctors. We've got to give them room. Um. Okay. So, uh, doctors' lounge. Uh, how? Uh, do, but let's do some prefabs. Uh, how much money have we got? 67. Okay, we've still got to do an operating room. Uh, do not forget that. Regular wards. Where's the... Where's the... Encore room. 8 by 6. Well, that just about fits there. Encore room. Nurses station. 8 by 6. But we could just do two 8 by 6s, couldn't we? Apart from I'm not liking that organisation. Uh, what does the encore room look like? That sits four. Yeah, we can make this more, um, we can make this more better. More better, that's the answer. Right, let's, okay, let, wards. Let's do the wards first, the walls first, even. Right, so here we go. We've got everything in, doors, windows, walls, etc. Um, now we just need to, oops, jumpy, jumpy. Now we just need to fit everything in. So yeah, let's get ourselves our uh, toilets in here. Um, I have got myself a little wall, um, where are we? I've got a little wall there to provide more room for the old sinks and such like. So hopefully, uh, rotate that round. Oh, okay, yep, that was the other way around. Okay, there we go, right. Hand dryer, one, two, can we put them on this wall? We can. Hey, that's interesting. There we go. We've got a few a few of them scattered around. Let's get ourselves some cleaning shelves in there. Some buckets in here like so. Oh, we still need to do the operating room. 
Oh god, I forgot about that. It's fine, it's fine. We will be fine. <laughs> I know I say this a lot, but we will be fine. We will be totally fine. Um, Right, in here, what we're going to do, we are going to do... How's about one locker right there. Then we'll do the fridge. Oh, that's a bit of a bottleneck, isn't it? But yeah, necessary. Um, We'll do cabinet with doors, kitchen sink. There we go. Cabinet with drawers right there with the coffee machine. Excellent. Um, have we got room for a table, dining table and stuff? This is this is very tight in here, but I think we can just about make it work. There we go. Excellent. With a bit of the old sofa. Let's go red because it's cardiology. Um, yeah, you're back to the thing. Me. Oh, that's that's a bit tight, isn't it? Um, let's put a bookcase here. You know what? You can have another sofa like that with a cabinet with thingmies and a radio. There we go. It's very tight. It's very... But they'll be fine. They'll be totally fine. Right, we need some visitor seats in here for the people to see their people. Um, how about... Oh god, this looks like a prison, doesn't it? Oh god. Yeah, we're doing a whole prison set up here. Yeah, come visit your loved ones. Be in a teeny tiny room. Oof. Yeah, not so fun. But we, we'll make it work. There we go. And then how's about we do a cube thing there? And a cube thing there. Can you get fruit juice? A bit on there. That's slightly annoying. Um, sell these bad boys. Go with cabinet with drawers. And then fruit juice will fit on there. Yes, okay. Cabinet with drawers that way. We'll put a little radio there. So again, they've got some... Um, yeah, they've got some um, music and such like. We'll do a vending machine in blue, yes. There we go. They've got a bit of privacy as well, but yeah, they get to see each other. That's the main thing. Right, in here, what we need. Let's go with the old modern hospital bed. We'll rotate you around here like so. Yeah, I know of them for HDU over here and the normal ward there. I, I know, I know it's a bit further away, but it, it, it's fine. It's, to, it, it's fine. It, it will work. It will work. Um, we'll go for the old bed socket right there. Excellent. And then that's that sorted. So let's, um, yeah, let's copy this a little bit. Copy that. Paste that. What we'll do, we'll just do one bay like that, not quite filled out. And yet, yeah, this is where I said we then need to uh, make the regular ward just that little bit bigger. Because what we're going to do, we're going to sneak, um, if we click on here, we're going to sneak the wall defibrillator right there. There we go. Now it's a valid room. Aha. But yeah, we'll, we sneak it out there so that then, um, well, like I say, if we can just, they can run in with it. It's fine. It's totally fine. Um, right, next up, HDU beds. Let's go again with the modern bed. Just set ourselves up so they need a life monitor in this one. Um, bedside cabinets? Really? Yeah, eh, okay. And we'll go with the bed socket. There we go. Then what we'll do, we'll do the whole copy... Yoink, plonk, plonk and plonk. We're just going four beds at the moment, like I say, it's a bit of money. <laughs> I think we're going to have to take a loan. It, it, it is what it is, it is what it is. I was expecting this at some point. I mean, we could fit another bed there if needed, but yeah, we've got 12 beds. That should be plentiful, right? Should be plentiful. Um, right, what else do we need technically in here? Bookcase, medicinal shelf. We really don't need anything else in here. Do we need anything else here? Oxygen tank? I mean, that could be rather handy. Um, how about we put the oxygen tank down here, like so. Anything else? Cabinet, bed socket. No, we, we, we're doing bare mo minimum here. Bare minimum. <laughs> Uh, oi. Oi. All right, let's go for that 
backbench. So how many do we need in here? We'll need we'll need quite a few doctors in here, won't we? I think we're going to need six to eight for a nice functional. That's not good then, is it? Because we can only fit one person on there. Foolish already. Glass desk. There we go. Uh, rotate. There we go. So that's four to start with. So that means we can open. That's that's the main thing. So yeah, we'll do one, two. Yeah, yeah. It's close quarters, guys. You best like each other. Yeah, walk in and yeah, you 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 really need to like each other. You know what we'll do? We'll actually make that a little bit nicer for them. We'll remove that door there and we'll put it there. Then what we can do if we go here? Oh yeah, they need a printer, don't they? Huh? Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, rotate. Go like that. Put them a printer there like that. Um, they can have a couple of like bookcases like there. Yeah, that will kind of be a little bit nicer. Um, but yeah, we can still fit. Can we fit four more here? So chairs, desk, desk. We cannot. Well, that's um frustrating. Well, we'll get rid of you. Move you back. Yep. I'm sorry, guys. It's very, very close quarters. You are literally in here to just work. That's what you are in here for. And we can fit another four doctors there. And plus maybe a sofa in the future. Not important at the moment. We just want to get oop, Christ, up and functional. Right. So as I said, what I wanted was nurses stationed there. So we can have... Oh, God, no, that's not going to work, is it? Nurses station there, so we can have nurses... Oh, here we go. As they come in, they can walk through here. We'll do this. Yep, that's good. That's good. Um, click back on here, please. Um, PC. So, yeah, we need... Uh, let's just go for... Oh, the money. The money. <laughs> oh, it's fine. We'll work this. We'll work this somehow. I'm not particularly sure how, but we are going to work it. I've put windows in there and that's going to be up against... Oh, God, fool. That's fine. We'll delete those windows at some point. <laughs> Just realised, yeah, that's going to be backing onto another department, isn't it? Oh, well. Oh, well, this is me and my um logic right here. Um, right, okay, what do we need? We need stretchers, meal trays, equipment tool. So how about we put a couple of equipments there? You know what? You can have a third one, like that. We'll put the meal tray right there, plonk. And then how's about another one there? Just in case it gets really busy, they can come out and scoot around and do stuff and things. Um, we'll plonk a couple of wheelchairs. What we could do, we could make these guys a little bit bigger, can't we? And have a kind of snug kind of area. We can look at that at a later date, but I was just thinking, yeah, we could have them come around here and then we could have couple of sofas there that might be worthwhile and then we can have our eight doctors here their workstations and then their sofas around here yeah that could work we might do a redecor re redecorate in that area we may we may um right let's chuck some scrubs here like so um what's that that's just a shelf yeah a shelf of stuff and things How's about... Oh, warming cabinet. Yeah, I forgot about them. They don't particularly need them, but... um, Yeah, they're not necessary. Um, But you know what? They just add a little bit of something-something to the place, right? Um, Stainless steel cabinet, yes. And what we'll do, we'll put you a kitchen sink right there so you can wash your hands. Excellent. Oh my god, we've got 6,000 left and we've still got all these rooms... And the operating room to do. Oh man. Okay, I apologise, guys. This is this is clearly a long episode. Clearly a long episode. Oosh. Right. Well, let's let's get going. No no point dilly dallying. Just just get the stuff done. Do you not need? Uh, do you not need a desk? You clearly don't need a desk. Okay. Well, we'll move that along there a little bit then. Um, one examination light, please. Yeah, we'll check you there. You know what? I actually chuck you in the middle. Why the devil not, right? With a couple of equipment cabinets there and... Where's the other one? I want that one. There. You know what? Shuffle you along just that little bit. 
Uh, chart board, how's about there? Excellent. With the biohazard bin underneath. Not underneath because it doesn't like it. Of course it doesn't like it. Disinfectant stuff. Okay, well, we'll go back to our usual then. Disinfectant stuff and bin by the door. There we go. Nice. Chart board, you can come back. There we go. We can have an eye test. Right. And then we can't have an eye test right about there or there. How about there? Okay. Mobile workstation. Aha. Uh, okay, that can go anywhere. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. How about there? Then we need a, we need the CRP scan. So can we not get a... Huh, I want a big table. Glass office desk like that. There we go. We'll come back into here. Can't move you along. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We won't move you along. There you go. You can have a wheelchair in the corner. Because that would be helpful. Um, and yeah, you kind of... Yeah, you kind of set up in there. Wait. Bit of the old decoration. Have a flower pot. Oh, Christ. No, that's an outdoor decoration. <laughs> uh, move the CRP scan to there. And then we'll just put a little cactus in the corner. There we go. Right. Diagnostic unit done. What's this? Um, cardiography unit. They They need a desk. I thought so. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is... Yeah, I forget how large these things kind of get. Should have started that other room, then I haven't got this room in the way. Uh, right, we'll go this way. Uh, right, medical light. Bonk. What else? ECG, but you need to be on an equipment table. Hmm. We move, we can't move you along there. Okay. Let's, oh, good grief. You know what? You know what? Get rid, get rid, and we'll go to the old prefab in cardiology. Uh, where are we? Uh, cardiography unit six by six. Really? Six by six. Oh, wow. Okay, so that needs the, 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 thing needs to be at the end of the bed okay right that's good to know i just wasted so much money there by deleting the thing didn't i totally fine totally fine um yeah we might struggle with getting all this in there we go with the ecg there nice then the medical lights above what are you missing now? Oh, USG. Aha. There we go. Right now you're set up. Excellent. Grab the office desk and plonk that like. Why can that not go there like that? Why can that not? Oh, that's why it can't go there like that. Right. Let's take a 60k loan. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Ow. Ow, ow, ow. That's painful. That is very painful. But, um, obviously necessary. We need to spend money to make money? Maybe 60. Oh. Oof. Ouch. And an ouch. Right, we need some... Let's go for disinfectant by the door here with the bin. What else do we need? Equipment cabinet. Well, how's about right there? Lab analyzer. Oh. Oh. Well, maybe we need some of that. Yeah. Um. We'll do that in that corner. Eight hundred for the lab analyzer. Ouch. And we'll, we'll squeeze the patient in just there, right? Oh God. But yeah, it's a valid room, right? Ultrasound. Oh, man. Right, you're the same. So, yeah, how about we do you there? USG right there. Do you need anything at the bottom of the table? I don't think so. I think that's now going to be... Yeah, that's a valid table. That's perfect. A little bit less um, cramped in here, hopefully. Hopefully, she says. It's not going to be. It's not going to be. You can have a small printer because we're running out of money. We overspent. We overspent. Oh, God. We're very much overspent. 
Oh man, I forgot how much a ward takes to set up. I can't believe I've actually um I've actually got a loan. We didn't even get a loan last time, did we? I don't think we got a loan last time. But yeah, there we go. That is a valid room. That is a valid room. Square table, yeah, 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 yeah. We're valid. Nice. Okay. So that's all of these things valid. We can add some more beds in should we need. Oh, God. Now we need to go down and do a bloody operating theatre. Oh, Christ alive. But with this setup, it does mean that we're going to just be able to copy and paste this to other wards. So it's going to be so much easier, so much quicker, and we can just we can just do it. Like all of this up here could just be copied and plonked right, right there. That could be plonked right next to it. All of these things are exactly the same. But yeah, we've got a whole other department there that we've basically got set up near enough instantaneously. So that is um that is always really handy, really handy. And again, same. Once we get the operating theatre set up, it's going to be really easy because we're just going to copy and paste them to next ones. So, so yeah, we 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 will we'll be laughing. We will be. We will be. Um, operating room. We've only got one operating room type, which you know what? I don't dislike. I really don't dislike apart from yeah so if I put it here we want a door here so we want a corridor up that way so yeah because we want yeah corridor yeah you know what do just do it just do it we'll um we'll set up oh, 25k good grief we're just gonna set it up as is at the moment and what we'll do we'll do a corridor down the middle and then we can fit how many of these can we fit one two three hopefully four there's that comes to here so how wide how big are these 12 by ding me let's just let's just have a look 12 by 6 18 yes we could fit four there and then another four there and then another four and another four if we need to how big are these 12 okay we can't quite do another foot well no we can we can do plenty of operating room Oh good God! Right now we need to. Oh, we need to hire staff. We need to hire staff. Uh, we're in the wrong thing here. Right here we go. Right, so we need. What do we need? We need uh, hire staff. Right. What are these? Cardio tech. Okay. Early bird and hard worker. You can come in. Then we need a nighttime person. Uh. Oh, depressed. Uh, loyal. What are you? Comforting and rest resistant. Come on in. In here, what are these? Um, hmm. These are technologists, the USG techs. Okay. Early bird, but could get here late. Uh, Sparta. You know what? Yeah, you're coming in. And then on the night shift, we're going to have... You know what? We're going to have the germaphobe. There you go. With our messy hair. Right, so we've got the Cardiotech USG check. Marvellous. What we then need is three doctors, but they can be a mixture of surgeons and anaesthetists. So, if we get two surgeons and one anaesthetist, I think we're going to be golden. Right, so two surgeons. Let's go surgeons. Um, do we have a boss? Yes, we do have a boss over here. Um, let's reveal the perk. Okay, so we've got loads of good bosses. Does not cause discomfort, loyal, hard worker. You know what? Carol Gonzalez, you're in. All right, so we've got one surgeon. Let's get a second surgeon, because it's always good to have the surgeons. Um, hmm. You are going to be pretty good, but you could be late. So yeah, we'll put you on the day shift. And then what we'll do, we'll put another surgeon on the night shift. Let's have a look at your hidden things. Practical diagnosis. Yeah. Right, so we've got a surgeon on the night. We don't need a surgeon on the night. But it will help us later down the line if we want to do surgeries overnight. Yes. Right, and then we need an anaesthetist in the day. So we're going to do our anaesthetist over here. Here we go. Anaesthetist. Early bird. Let's... Anaesthetist. Loyal. People person. Early bird. Yes. 
Excellent. And do we do a Nith test overnight? No, because we can't actually do surgery overnight at the moment, so that's fine. Daytime, we need three nurses, but two surgery nurses. Okay, so, surgery nurse. Uh, slow, but scholar. Oh, let's reveal your perks, Amy. Medical surgery, you're not really that good. So, yeah, you know what? None of you are really that good, so we'll get you and... Surgical nurse, you. Hey, look, yes. Then we need a third nurse. Let's go for clinical nurse specialisty kind of thing. Oh, let's look at the perks. Resistance. Yeah, you there. And then we'll get a nighttime clinical nurse specialist, which was you, Edenist. But you know what? You're fine. A ping. <laughs> We've opened hospitalisation. Oh, this is fab. This is fab. Enable hospitalization at intensive care. Reward, we can buy ambulances now. Oh man, yes, excellent, marvelous. This is good, right, done. Oh man, I do apologize, guys. I, we've been going on for so, so long here. So, so long. I'm gonna hold it here and we're gonna have a look how this works next time. Oh man, I can't believe how long I bleeding took. But yeah, it's, we've got it. We've got hospitalization at cardiology and insurance companies. What have we got? Um, 26 patients. Look, we're up to 87 patients. Increase ambulance to three patients per day. So, yeah, we could get some ambulances in. Again, yeah, we could move up liver TY there. That could be handy. Purchase an ambulance. I mean, it could be. We'll see. Ah, oh, but yeah, cardiology is in. It looks very bare and it looks very horrible. But we took, how much did we take? 60k? 60k loan. Oh, holy moly. But this is going to hopefully help us out no end. Oh, man. Hopefully this has helped you figure out how to do hospitalization. Look at them all. They're all on bleed and break. Christ. Um, but yeah, hopefully it helps you figure out how to do hospitalization. Because it, it does, it's a bit of a brain, brain boggler. It does, it does hurt a little bit. But it is so worth it. It is so worth it. And we are moving so much further forward in our hospital. Look at this. We're on a third floor. We've got a third floor. And we're ready to do another hospitalization in another department. That is the main thing. That is the key thing here. And look, we can just replicate that up and up and up. So yeah, I once we've built this one, we can just move up like crazy. So yeah, hopefully you are enjoying it. Hopefully this is helping you out. If it is, please do tap that like down below comment away and you know what to do if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and come back next time where we see how our cardiology department is actually working if it is actually working we shall see and then we'll see whether we get any operations yeah i'll catch you on the next one doodles folks